I would like to invite our viewers to do something that just occurred to me. I was preaching. You know how grace comes to you just at a moment, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not trying to say that I was inspired. Maybe I was inspired, but it wasn't something mystical that, you know, I didn't well, turn color or anything. It just came to me all of a sudden when I was talking about the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross for us, how much participation, suffering in that whole sacrifice of his only begotten son, the father went through. There isn't a father that I know, and you had a great father. I had a great father. Thank God. Yeah. There was never a time in my life when I didn't really know that if push came to shove, my father would give his life for me. I knew that. I knew he would. Not just for me, to any of my brothers and sisters. He would. He would go to bat for us, even if it would cost him his life. I saw him in a situation where he was losing one child, my younger sister. Oh. And I know that he would have given, at that moment, his own life for her. I know he would have. Why? Because he didn't want to see her suffer and die. He would take that on himself as a father. Yeah. And we're talking about the natural order. This is just the natural order of things. Yeah. Uh, how much more was this sacrifice to God the Father? We look at the sufferings of Christ. I'm sure, and I don't mean to minimize them. They, they were outrageous sufferings. But also the father who participated in this to see that happen to his son, to reconcile the world. What a tremendous, a tremendous amount of love there is between the father and the son in that sacrifice on the cross. The father who would, who would have done anything to not have this happen, the son who would give everything so that it would. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. And I'd like to, I'd like to just, just encourage listeners to give it a chance, give a chance and listen to that. You can find it easily on, on YouTube. The, the, it's a short film. It's only, I don't know, not even 15 minutes long. It's called The Bridge, 1978, The Bridge. And it's about a father who sacrificed his only son so that a train load of people, random strangers could survive. It's powerful. I would invite people to just give a look to that. And then stop to think what God the Father did for you and for me in the sacrifice of his only begotten son. What the son did for you and for me in his sacrifice to the Father. All right? Now, the same sacrifice given, give this to people to eat. Give this to my people to eat, to nourish themselves. Eat the sacrifice. This is this is fantastic stuff. This is what we've lost. We've lost this. This is what's tragic about about what's been happening. We've lost this sense. Uh, until we get it back, I'm sorry, but I really feel this way. Until we get it back, we're not going to get any better.